Well, the Hunting Retriever Club, I can tell you why I got into the Hunting Retriever Club. I, I, I joined HRC because I had a dog that wouldn't retrieve my ducks and I needed help. And uh, I found out about the organization and I got involved in it because I wanted a good hunting dog. One of the things about HRC that's really helpful is that uh, we have a motto that, that goes conceived by hunters for hunters. And that's really the driving force behind what we do. It's how we set up our rule book, how we run our hunts. The whole thing is really involved around having a better dog in the field to not only be your, your bud in the field, but also to be a better conservation tool when you're out duck hunting or dove hunting. One of the things that uh, we really like about our organization is the fact that we actually use a shotgun. Uh, we teach gun safety because of that on every hunt, uh, even though we are using blanks. Uh, but when we use that shotgun, we treat it just like it's the real thing. We use duck calls. Usually all of our tests start with a duck call. Uh, throw the birds, aim track, and shoot the bird with the gun at the top of the arc, and, uh, and send the dog after the bird after we shoot at it. When you, when you put the shotguns together, the duck calls together, and the dogs and the handlers together, uh, it, it ends up being just like the real deal. It's uh, duck hunting on the water and, and uh, dove hunting in the field. Within the organization, we have three categories of dogs. Uh, we bring dogs in at the started level. You've got uh, dogs that are about two, six months to a year old. Uh, we, we use the gun there. We throw two marks on land, two marks on water. They pick all those birds up in a day. They earn a ribbon. Then when you move to season, they do double marks. They do a blind. They do a diversion and a walk up. And they earn points and ribbons for that. And then the last category is finished. And when dogs pass that, we typically do triples. Uh, the cover gets more difficult. We got longer blinds. Uh, have honor dogs involved and you earn uh, points for that, and then ultimately you're trying to gather up 100 points so that your dog can uh, be an HR champion. It's pass-fail, but we don't have winners. We don't necessarily have losers. It's, uh, dogs are performing against a standard, and uh, once they pass that standard as laid out in the rule book, then, then they can pass the test for that day. We've got a total of, a, of around 130 clubs uh, all across the United States and Canada, and those clubs put on about 350 hunts a year uh, that, uh, that anybody can take their dog to, to to try to earn their title. I think one of the things that brings people into the HRC program is that when you're not actually out there competing against another dog, or you're not trying to find a winner, then we can all sit on the sidelines and pull for each dog to do their best that day. Good job. You begin to build a family amongst the handlers. Uh, you, you'll see a certain group of people at a hunt this weekend, and you go to another hunt next weekend, and you'll see a lot of those same people there. And next thing you know, you're all pulling for each other. And uh, we've got clubs all over the country, and you may see somebody you know in Texas or somebody that's here from Texas, or you may go to Missouri and run a hunt there. Uh, you could even go to Canada and run a hunt and find people that you know. But when you get there, you find it's all a big, happy family, and uh, we're all trying to help each other pass the test that day. At the end of the day, specifically on Saturday evening, because uh, we always have this two-day event, so everybody's going to be here Sunday, but Saturday night everybody hangs around and we're all interested to see who's going to get that, you know, started title or that season title or that finished title because the big tradition is to get that person wet, per se, you know, whether it's like a getting wet down with a, a buckets of water or a cooler of ice water or water hose, what have you. It's a joy to watch the people to get it, and it's also a joy to get it yourself. Uh, it's just uh, it's a great accomplishment, makes you feel good. And everybody gets around, they have a big cookout, uh, got a big dinner, and there's always some kind of activity going on. We either got like a speed retrieve uh, for everybody from little guys to the big guys up, and uh, it's just a real big, it's basically a big fellowship uh, on a Saturday night. Not only do we get husbands and wives involved in the in the organization, but we also try to bring in the youth. We've got many programs to try to help the youth. We've got a, a, a scholarship program. We've got a puppy program where kids can get a puppy. Uh, we have youth hunts. We have junior handler hunts. We have several things that we can involve the young people of America today because that is actually who's going to be taking us into the future so that we can all keep this tradition alive. I started, I became a member of the Langill River Hunter Retriever Club there in Northeast Arkansas in Jonesboro when I was 13. And uh, I've been, I'm 25 now, 
and uh, the dogs have the dogs have taken me on an incredible journey. I mean, I've been all over the world. I've seen different parts of the United States that I never would have seen if it wouldn't have been for dogs. The people in HRC are some of the friendliest and most helpful I've ever been around. Um, they made me feel welcome from the beginning. They helped me with anything they could to help me get better with my dog and learn how to train. And uh, I've, I have friends that I made 15 years ago, so it's been wonderful. HRC realized that in the past five years that the number of women in the hunting and shooting sports has greatly increased. HRC is a family sport, so we get our wives and our daughters involved. There's a kind of a lot of things in HRC that can be intimidating for some women to learn. So to facilitate getting those women more involved, we held our first women's inaugural retreat this year. What they did was they held a seminar that covered the rules of HRC, various things like gun safety, shooting, how to clean a gun, how to run a boat motor, how to ride a four-wheeler, all things like that. We usually have three or four women handlers in each flight, and I think they enjoy it. They enjoy learning how to use the guns, and they enjoy learning to run their dogs, and um, some of them train them as well as uh, handle them now. So. I think it's going to increase more and more because it, it's fun and they uh, are rewarded for their hard work. I love to say to people that come and train with me that on days like today, which are nice and sunny and the humidity's low and I'm watching the dog out working, I love to say that I'm just one of the luckiest people in the world because I'm not in an office and I'm just out watching a dog do what they love to do and the scenery's beautiful. And to me, it just doesn't get any better than that. Well, HRC in general is just, a, it's a great environment. It's a really great family environment. Uh, it's a fun for the whole family. You know, it's really nice because it's oriented and it's real simulated to duck hunting, which all of us enjoy, that it's most of us that are running this event. I mean, that's what we got our dogs for. And it's really nice uh, for the off season. We can bring them out here, you know, pick up a few chickens and, and get a ribbon or two and get some points and titles, you know, improving the breeding. It's just fun, enjoyable, it's relaxing. Uh, you know, they get to watch a bunch of dog work, and it's, it's fun for, like I say, I started when I was 13, so it's, you know, it's for the little guys all the way up to the older guys. This is the best organization for the hunter and his dog. Another motto we have is our hunting season never ends. What that means is that we not only have hunt tests all year long, we have training days all year long. Clubs have hunts at least once a month. They have training weekends. They have regional hunts. They have training seminars at their meetings. There's also a way to learn at our judges seminar. If you want to get your dog hunting with you, this is the best organization to do it with. All you have to do is ask for help. You get a training group in your local club and go out there and train and learn all you need to know how to get you a good hunting dog. When I got into HRC, it's like I said, all I was in it was for a hunting dog. That's all I wanted to start with. And when I found out what these dogs could really do, I really got turned on to the fact that let's just see how far we can go with this. And it went, next first thing you know, you're running a started test, and before you know it, you're running a finish test, and kind of wondering, well, by golly, we're doing it. And one day you wake up and you're running what we call the Grand, and, and, and you've got a, a hunting dog that you're proud to take hunting with you. You've got people that enjoy hunting with your dog with you, and it's because of HRC that I, that I've had opportunities to, to have more friends than I could count, go places I never would have gone, seen things I never would have seen, and it's, and it's really boiled down to friendships that last a lifetime.